Once upon a time, in the heart of the African savanna, there was a beautiful land known as the Pride Lands. This was a place where animals of all kinds lived in harmony under the wise and just rule of Mufasa, the mighty Lion King. Mufasa had a young son named Simba, who was full of curiosity and energy. Simba's best friends were a clever meerkat named Taiman and a kind-hearted warthog named Pumba. They played together in the warm sun, chasing butterflies and exploring the vast pride lands. One day, Simba asked his father about the circle of life, a concept that Mufasa held close to his heart. Mufasa explained, the circle of life is the balance of nature, where every creature has a role to play. We, as the protectors of the pride lands, must ensure that this circle is never broken. But not everyone in the pride lands respected this balance. Mufasa's brother, Scar, was jealous of his brother's power and the adoration of the animals. Scar wanted to be king, and he hatched a wicked plan to take the throne for himself. One dark and stormy night, Scar and his hyena henchmen launched a surprise attack on Mufasa. In the fierce battle that followed, Mufasa bravely defended the Pride Lands, but Scar's treachery ultimately led to a terrible tragedy. Mufasa was gone and Scar claimed the throne, blaming Simba for his father's death. Simba was heartbroken and believed he was responsible for his father's death. Scar ordered him to leave the Pride Lands and never return. Alone and scared, Simba wandered into the vast wilderness, far away from the only home he had ever known. As Simba ventured deeper into the wilderness, he met Taiman and Pumba. They taught him the carefree philosophy of Hakuna Matata, which meant no worries. Simba learned to live in the moment and enjoy life without the weight of his past. Years passed, and Simba grew into a young adult lion. Back in the Pride Lands, under Scar's rule, the once lush land had become barren and dry. The animals suffered, and the circle of life was broken. One day, Simba met Nala, his childhood friend and now a grown lioness. She told him about the terrible condition of the Pride Lands and begged him to return. Simba, still burdened by guilt, was unsure. But with Nala's encouragement, Simba realized that he could not run from his past forever. He needed to face his fears, confront Scar, and restore the circle of life. Simba, Nala, Taiman, Pumba, and their new friends set out on a journey back to the Pride Lands. Along the way, they faced many challenges and obstacles. They had to outsmart hyenas, cross dangerous terrain, and rely on their wits and friendship. Simba and his friends arrived back in the Pride Lands, their determination to make things right stronger than ever. As they approached Pride Rock, they saw that it had been taken over by Scar and his loyal hyenas. Scar was living the high life, while the once lush land had become barren. Simba knew he couldn't run from his past any longer. With Nala, Taman, Pumba, and their newfound friends by his side, he climbed Pride Rock to confront Scar. The tension in the air was tangible, as Scar, now cornered, resorted to more lies and deceit. In a heart-wrenching confrontation, Scar revealed the truth about Mufasa's death, shifting the blame onto Simba. But Simba, filled with the wisdom of his father's teachings, knew he couldn't let Scar's lies go unchallenged. Simba's roar, as he confronted Scar, echoed throughout the Pride Lands. The animals, who had suffered under Scar's rule, heard the powerful roar and rallied behind their rightful king. Simba, full of courage, confronted Scar and asked him to tell the truth about Mufasa's death. Scar, cornered, 
admitted his wrongdoing. A big battle broke out as Simba's friends and the lionesses defended against the hyenas. Scar tried to escape but was followed by Simba to a high ledge at Pride Rock. Scar, afraid and cunning, begged for forgiveness and blamed his actions on the hyenas. He attacked Simba, but after a brave fight, Simba chased Scar away, and Scar fell to the ground. Although Scar survived the fall, the hyenas, who heard his lies, turned against him and finished him once and for all. With the Pride Lands finally at peace and the circle of life restored, Simba reclaimed his rightful place as king, ruling with love, wisdom, and respect, just as his father, Mufasa, had taught him. The land flourished, and all the animals lived in harmony once more. And so, the tale of Simba's courageous journey, the battle for justice, and the enduring importance of the circle of life became a legendary story passed down through from generations in the heart of the African savanna. The End